Good afternoon. For the first time, Phoenix police talking about the investigation into how a 29-year-old woman living in a vegetative state in the Hacienda nursing facility was impregnated, then gave birth without anyone apparently knowing. But up until now, they wouldn't call it a sexual assault investigation. It was not in any way, shape or form to minimize the crime. We knew it was a sexual assault from the get-go when we arrived on there. I think everybody did though, and that was the question was, why don't we just call it a sex crime from the beginning? Because it was obvious that that's what it was. When information goes out to the community, a suspect hears that that investigation's gone, it may force him or her to do things they would not normally do, such as flee the scene. They say the emergency call came in on December 29th for a baby who had coded, meaning he was unconscious or not breathing. And when they got there, they found the victim who gave birth unable to move and communicate. They've since served a warrant and obtained DNA from male staffers at the Hacienda facility, but they say getting those results will take a long time. And what if it doesn't match the baby's DNA. If it wasn't somebody inside or if it was somebody who quit, used to work there, how hard would it be to get their DNA and would you even be able to find them? Those are some of the challenges that we have on any investigation. Court documents show the last known physical exam of the victim was in April of 2018, eight months before she gave birth. The form indicates she had a, quote, firm belly, but says nothing about being pregnant and the doctor suggested to continue current care. A source tells us that doctor, who performs an exam on the victim one time a year, is separate from the doctors at Hacienda who regularly regularly see the patients, but police say right now nobody is ruled out as the perpetrator. Are you confident you'll even be able to find the suspect? I have faith in him. Uh, I've been a cop for 35 years with the Phoenix Police Department. I think the department I work for, the department I represent, will be able to solve this crime.